Hmm. It appears that strange rift of some sort has brought me to a different universe. Although I am quite surprised. I could say I'm not impressed at all either. But nonetheless, I guess I can make this universe my own. <laughs> Unless there is some more powerful beings here. Although I don't sense any type of key around. But I do sense a mortal. Show yourself. <laughs> well, well, look who we have here, a young adult. Tell me, what universe am I on? I should have never... You know what? Forget it. I have no time to waste here. As I have gone through that rift, I'm pretty sure more rifts are opening throughout universes. So, it won't be long until there's more people coming through that portal there. Am I evil? <laughs> <laughs> you must be joking. Have you not heard of me? If you haven't heard of me, well, that's rather disappointing, but I shall introduce myself. <clears throat> My name is Lord Frieza. I am the tyrant of the universe and destroyer of planets. And what is your name, mortal? <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. But sadly, it's also going to be the last time I see you. Because I plan on destroying this planet unless there was nothing boring on here. <laughs> yes, I'm evil. Has it not gone through your thick head of yours? You are wasting my time. Tell me, are there powerful people on this planet? Or is it just pitiful humans like yourself? Yes. Do you humans have powers here? That is what I am trying to ask you. Quirks? What is this quirk you speak of? You are telling me that people are bored with misshapen objects as, like, body parts? And also just powers out of the blue. Hmm. This is a very s unstable universe, isn't it? No matter. I think I can correct this universe with my own bare hands if I choose to. <laughs> you silly mortal. Well, before I was transferred here, I was 
giving myself the wish of immortality with the Dragon Balls. But since this rift interrupted me, I don't think I'm immortal. And the Dragon Balls are just sitting there, waiting for everyone to use them. Anyone with a Dragon Ball Tracer could find my location as well. So, mortal, you're gonna help me get out of here. Because I need to go back to my universe and make my wish of immortality. So, how do you work this thing? You don't know. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Well, can you point me in the direction of the person who knows how to work this thing? You don't know who they are either. This is not helping your case, mortal. Either point me in the direction of this person that knows how to control this time capsule thing, or I'm going to destroy you where you stand. I can sense you're not lying about it. Uh, great pain in my ass. Very well. I will be taking you as a hostage, then. And until I can find the person who works this damn machine. I'm going to keep you as my own. Maybe even train you a little bit in my own workings. And maybe, just maybe, you might even surpass me one day. But that day isn't today. <laughs> yes, this planet will be mine. And what is the name of this planet, if you do not mind me asking? Earth. Hmm, that's strange. It's strange because back in my universe, I only know of one Earth. And that planet gets destroyed, like, <laughs> every week, it seems. But because of a angel living on Earth alongside of uh, useless monkeys, that planet usually gets reborn every other week. Like nothing happened. Just like that. Well, nonetheless, I am quite irritated, and I don't want to waste no more time. So here, let me show you a glimpse of my power. You see, imagine this. I am floating in the middle of space. Pointing my finger at a planet. And then, a strong beam of light comes from my finger. And I point it directly at the planet. And then that beam shoots right into the center of it. And then you soon see all of its rubble, all of its magma, of its core, bubble up to the surface. And then, boom! The planet explodes into small little chunks of space rock. Do you understand my power now? Good. So... Don't waste my time. 
Now, come along, new subordinate. I have a lot of things planned for this universe. <laughs>